everybody. I just have a quick question for you. I did this tag called the um, the What's Your Poetry tag. And um, a bunch of people have um, been doing it. And if you want to do it and you haven't done it yet, um, I guess I'll link it and you can find the video and stuff and you guys can do it. But there's been some really great um, answers to some of the questions I was throwing out there. And um, one of the things is, is that I had a question in there that was, does a poet need to lead an interesting life for you to enjoy their poetry? And um, the, the poet's artifacts... Um, had a response to this which got me thinking and what I think I was probably trying to get at and trying to nail I guess would it be does the poet's background influence on how you enjoy their poetry I guess because I wasn't leaning and I feel like a lot of people who've um, done the tag are kind of under the impression that I'm saying you need to know a lot about the poet themselves in order to like their poetry and I'm not saying that at all I'm just saying like are there do like do they need to live life interestingly in order to um, convey certain things when we see the world through their eyes so maybe that was just a bad question. Um, it seemed better when I wrote it, but as many things I've written, once other people have read them, I realize, oh shit, maybe that wasn't so good. Um, but the actual question I want you guys to answer here is um, Aaron Facer answered the questions and go check out his video. I guess I should probably link to that too. Um, and he was talking about the question about like, where do you see poetry going? And, um, I won't give you his answer cause I want you to go watch his video. It's a very, very well done video there. Um, but something in his answer, like triggered something in my head where I'm trying to think, do you think Poetry is the perfect or correct medium to talk about political things and social issues and environmental issues. Do you think that there is a better um, type of literature or... Um, anything of that nature in the arts do you think there's a different type of writing that is more suited to express feelings and beliefs other than poetry and it just made me think about like how a lot of the things I write about um, are problems that I'm going through, let's say. And when you look at everything on the grand scale, when you're writing about things so personally, um, at least in my writing, is that it feels very shallow if you're not talking about something bigger and more global, let's say. And I feel like um, personal problems, depression, things of that nature are very universal. But um, I don't think poetry is set up to try to fix those problems. Because those are just problems that everybody has. But there are problems in the world that are fixable. Um, whether it is the environment, um, 
or a slew of other things that I could be fucking bitching about right now. So my question, I guess, is, is poetry the right vehicle for change, let's say? Does that make sense? Um, yeah, let me know down below what you think. Um, I'm really curious to read your answers to that. And I'll, and I'll link some videos in here, too. And, um, yeah, so until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.